Hello everybody and welcome back to Skip Allen Paints. This is the second video in a series of videos that I will be doing on the Wacom tablets. As I mentioned before, I have received uh, or I have bought a uh, Wacom tablet into OS 5 and I absolutely love it. I mean, I really do. But before we can get into all of the setups and the ways to configure your tablet, the first thing that we need to do is learn how to install and uninstall a driver. And I wanted to do that first because we've recently had uh, a new driver posted for the Macs anyway, and we had one for the PC back in August. And who knows, we may be getting a new one for the PC too. Anyway, uh, what's on screen here are the suggestions that Wacom provides for uninstalling a, tab a tablet driver. And they, they do recommend uninstalling the driver before you install a new driver. So I have a Windows 7 machine, so we can do Windows 7 Vista first, and then we'll talk about Windows XP. And like I said, we've already done the Mac. So the first thing that they suggest is they suggest disconnecting the tablet from the computer. Well, I know that. But for some reason or another, Many times would have added a new driver, I would forget this step. I don't know why I would forget it, but it, it just, I would forget it. And what I'm finding is I'm lucky. I'm not having any problems with an install when I don't uh, disconnect the tablet from the computer. So, you know, it, it's always best to follow the manufacturer's recommendations, but I'm telling you I haven't had a problem with this. Whether you will or not, I don't know. Then what they say is open your start menu and then go to the control panel. Okay, so I'm going to click on my start menu. Now you don't see where I click. It's out of the screen. But when the start menu pops up, you will see control panel. So I'm going to click on my control panel. Now, it said, next is open programs and features. Well, if you look, there are no programs and features in here. What we're going to do, though, is uninstall a program. So we could just click right there on uninstall a program, but I'm not. I'm going to click on programs. And when you pick, click on programs, now you see programs and features, which is where they told you to go. Open your start menu in the control panel and open program and features. Well, there was just one place before you got there and that was programs. Now you can click on uh, uninstall a program. And we click on that and we get this uh, window that pops up. Now what you wanna do is go all the way down to the bottom. And down here you have Wacom tablet. Now what they say is open programs and features, uninstall any listing here for a tablet or Wacom tablet, and then restart your computer. Well, we have this, this Wacom tablet and then this Web Tablet uh, 32 and Web Tablet 64 are also Wacom uh, programs that go in with the Wacom uh, tablet. So what you want to do is either right click on this and click on uninstall or click on uninstall up here. Now, when you click on uninstall, then what comes up is, are you sure you want to completely remove the pen tablet driver and all its components? My answer is no, because I'm not going through the process, but you would answer yes. And when you answer yes, it goes through um, you know, removing that program from uh, the computer. It, not, it removes the software, uh, program software, and also the driver. Okay, so then I'm going to say no, and you're going to say yes, and let it go through its process. Uh, they may ask you some questions or whatever, but just do the prompts as you go. Um, you know, answer the prompts as you go. When you finish, what it's going to ask you to do is restart your computer. But before I restarted my computer, uh, this Wacom tablet was gone out of the list, but I still had Web Tablet FB Plugin 32-bit and Web Tablet FB Plugin 64-bit. 
So I clicked on those and then right clicked uninstall. And when I clicked on uninstall, it said this can't be uninstalled because it's already been. <laughs> so then I did the same thing here and right click, clicked on uninstall, and I got the same message. And both of these disappeared at that time. So by uninstalling the Wacom tablet, you actually uninstall these. In my case, they were still showing, but if I right click, on them and said uninstall, they would disappear. Okay, so that's the process that we go through to uninstall the driver. Now with the XP, it's exactly the same thing. Disconnect tablet, disconnect tablet. Open your start menu and then control panel. Open your start menu and the control panel. Open programs and features, and you open add or remove programs. Now, I, I don't know if there's a little step in between like there is on Windows because I can't remember my XP, but if you don't see this right off the bat, look for something that says programs or uninstall programs. Anyway, you uninstall any listing here for tablet or Wacom tablet, and then restart your computer. That would be the same way this looked, I'm pretty sure, that um, you just go in and uninstall that Wacom tablet, and then if there are any other plugins with it, those will be, uh, those will be taken care of uh, as well. Okay, so now, how do we install a, uh, oh, oh, forgot. At the end of each one of these, remember you need to restart the computer, okay? So that, uh, you know, once you get down here, restart your computer, and that will put everything into place. Okay, so now once it's been restarted, then what I do is I go to my downloads. I have um, a folder of downloads, and in that folder of downloads, I have Wacom drivers. So when we go in there, you see a whole bunch of drivers <laughs> from back from 2010. And um, what I want to do is I would go into the latest driver, which is August the 7th, 2012. And this was from the i5. Now, I think this August the 7th, 2012, and this August the 7th, that was for the i4. And this one for the i5, I would imagine they're probably the same driver, but I don't know that for a fact. So I'm using my i5, and I come up here and I double click on the Wacom Tablet EXE. And that starts the process of installing the um, driver. And once that opens up, just follow through the prompts, and it will go ahead and install that driver. And when you, uh, you know, at the end of installing that driver, it's going to ask you to restart your computer, which you want you will want to do, and then you will. Um, Let's see, then when you restart your computer, there's one other thing that I do. And what I do then is, let's get rid of this, we'll get rid of this. I have a program that is called CC Cleaner. And I'm sure there's a number of these kinds of programs out there, and you, you might want to get one. But what it does is it cleans up, you know, from from here, from Windows and Applications, it cleans up the temporary internet files and all that junk that builds up on your computer. But there's also a registry function. And I, after I load a any program, uh, and even after I uh, uninstall any program, I will run the registry cleaner because I find that there are a number of loose uh, files that are in the registry that need to be deleted. So if you'll do that, I think it will help. Now, um, once you've got your Wacom installed, then it's time to come to here and set up the Wacom. Now, that's going to be the next videos that we go through, whether I'll get to do those today or whether they'll be tomorrow. At this point, I don't know, but I'd like to get these first two videos up today. That's uh, the 29th of September. <laughs>
Okay. Talk to you later. I hope this helped. Bye-bye.